morning everyone. We're just pausing as we always do for a couple of minutes while we let people gather. Hope you're all keeping well, make yourselves comfortable and we'll see you shortly. Morning and welcome. Just another minute or so before we start. We'll just hang on while people are arriving. Go and get yourselves comfortable and we'll start soon. Morning everyone, hope you're all well. I can see some of your comments coming in down here. Don't be scared to put a little comment if you want to say hello or share something exciting that's happened to you this week, new jigsaw, episode of Friends that you realise you've never seen, trip to the dentist, whatever it is that's, that's happened. Uh, we like to celebrate all those who've had their vaccines um, we're delighted that Anthony's mum's had her first vaccine this morning. Anthony's going to pop round for the camera while we just give her a quick round of applause. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and a round of applause for everyone who's had their vaccine. I don't even know if Anthony's mum's watching, but hopefully. <laughs> Josh will appreciate that at some point. But congratulations to everyone who's had their first vaccine. I mean, I'm not a medical professional, but even I say, go and get a vaccine if you get offered it. You know, don't don't hesitate. If you're able to have it and you're offered it, then have it. I think it's the only way that we'll uh, be able to get out of this. Um, by clapping, we've accidentally summoned the dog. 
Come here. Come say hello. Hi. Come on. I'm going to say hello and then you're going to go back to your bed. All right? There. See, quite often we clap to summon the dog. So Taffy's here to say good morning and hope that you're all well. And then you're going to be a good boy and you're going to go back on your bed, aren't you? Yeah. Come on, back on your bed. That's it. There we go. On your bed. Good boy. Stay there. Now you might be wondering why I'm dressed a bit differently this morning. Uh, it's because, not just because I've run out of clothes, it's because we're going to have spiritual communion today. It's been quite a long time since I've done this. I look back and um, perhaps there's been one since then, but I think the last one might have been in July as we were coming to the end of that first lockdown and we'd got into a rhythm then of doing it every so often. Um, I will celebrate communion. I'll receive bread and wine on behalf of all of us and pray for all of us and we'll look forward to when we're able to receive communion again together physically which may not be for a little while but it will happen and uh, to be honest we're hoping it will happen before Easter so we're you know fingers crossed that things will improve enough to allow us to return back to church before too long in a safe way. It's candle mass today as you'll have seen from that first picture that was up when you were arriving of various people lighting candles um, Anne is going to explain a little bit about Candlemas later in our service, but it's also known as the Feast of the Presentation of Christ at the Temple, which is less catchy, less memorable. It's known as Candlemas, as this was often the time of year where candles would be blessed. It marked a turning point in the year. Actual Candlemas falls on the 2nd of February, but it's quite often transferred to the Sunday nearest uh, we bless candles, we thank God for the light that's come into the world. It marks the end of, of Christmas and Epiphany and moving into the next phase of the year. And before we know it, it'll be Lent. Uh, so this is very much a, a turning point in the year today, which we're all grateful for because doesn't it always feel like January lasts for about a million days? So here we are, almost February, which I know isn't a big improvement, but it's a turning. It's a moving forward through the year and we're moving forward through this pandemic and hopefully things are turning for the better or they will be soon anyway. I'm going to light a candle behind me. There was a request for 109 candles but we couldn't, we just couldn't manage that. Sorry William who requested that. We've got one big one. I hope that counts as at least nine. I'm sure it won't. We've got one big candle but we've also only got two matches. <laughs> which, is, which is why you should always check in advance whether you've got all the props that you need. So hopefully I can do this first time. Oh, look at that. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we don't have a very good track record when it comes to things with fire. Um, I don't know what it is. Just don't set fire to your own. Don't set fire to myself. I'm going to light this candle here. Uh, oh. <laughs> there we are. Nothing caught fire that wasn't supposed to. Got our big candle here behind us. I mean, I'm going to be blocking it for some of the time, but we know that it's here burning away. If you've got candles at home, maybe you've got some nice ones around, some tea lights, a scented candle here and there. Maybe you might like to light one today for candle mass as well. Um, and I'll just give you a moment if you want to, to go and do that, to go and find one and light one. Maybe you've even got some of those battery powered lights as well, which are good too. You can have one of those. Um, and if we all light one, then towards the end of the service, we can all dramatically blow them out together as well, symbolically. So if you want to, do just go and get that. I'll just say hello to those of you who've arrived. I can see a few of you are quite excited, actually, about having been to the dentist. It says a lot about the uh, state of the world, doesn't it? New jigsaws. Yeah. More people having vaccines, which is great. Yes, I've heard a few people have been a bit flawed after they've had the vaccine just for a, for a day or so. Uh, but, you know, that's much better than actually having COVID. So hopefully no one who gets the vaccine feels too poorly and it's all it's all sorted. <coughs> In a few hours, Taffy agrees. <laughs> OK. <laughs> I think Taffy's coming to help Anthea do the camera. What a good boy. Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> Going to have our first sentence. We welcome all of you. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, 
From the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is proclaimed in all the world. The Lord of glory be with you. And also with you. Thanks, Anthea and Taffy. <laughs> And we're going to take a moment just to say sorry for those things we've done that perhaps we shouldn't have to repent of our sins and take forgiveness from God. The grace of God has dawned upon the world with healing for all. Let us come to him in sorrow for our sins, seeking healing and salvation. You made us to be one family, yet we've divided humanity. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You were born a Jew to reconcile all peoples, yet we've brought disharmony among the races. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You rejoice in our differences, yet we make them a cause of enmity. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May the God of love bring us back to himself, forgive us our sins and assure us of his eternal love. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> it's a little um, groan of penitence from, from Taffy there, I think. Our first hymn today, this is a request from Dr Anne, from Anne Whitfield. And this is, it's quite often sung around Candlemas, actually. This is a worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. <clears throat> I'm going to clear my throat because there's a couple of high notes in this one. <laughs> watching the candle behind me worriedly. <laughs> if you hear any little um, sort of tinkling noises, it's me knocking over the tiny crib set that we've still got on the, uh, on the floor behind me. Sorry about that. Good morning to those just joining us and welcome to you as well. That was our first hymn that you've just heard. And we're going to have our collect prayer, our special prayer for today. 
So let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, light of the nations and glory of Israel, make your home among us and present us pure and holy to your heavenly Father, your God and our God. Amen. To swap places with Anthea for a moment, who's going to bring to us our first reading <coughs> from Hebrews. The reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Since the children share flesh and blood, Jesus himself likewise shared the same things, so that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who all their lives were held in slavery by the fear of death. For it is clear that he did not come to help angels, but the descendants of Abraham. Therefore he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every respect, so that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God, to make a sacrifice of atonement for the sins of the people. Because he himself was tested by what he suffered, he is able to help those who are being tested. For the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Thea. I will keep an eye on the candle. Don't, don't worry if anyone's concerned. It's not quite as close to the wall as it might look from the, uh, from the camera. So, um, and the artwork that's above it is made of metal, so it's not going to catch fire. Don't worry. But we'll keep an eye on it. We can always put it out if it looks a little bit dodgy. Just go with our track record of, of candle lighting. I'm delighted that Anne's going to read our gospel reading and that she's going to be preaching to us this morning as well, her little reflection, uh, which is always wonderful to hear. Um, so Anne is going to train the camera on our screen and welcome to Anne. our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. When the time came for the purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph brought Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord a pair of turtle doves, or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, and looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah, Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law. Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, you are now dismissing your servant in peace according to your word, for mine eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and rising of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be opposed so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Samuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age, having lived with her husband seven years after her marriage, then as a widow to the age of 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At that moment, she came and began to praise God and to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. 
when they had finished everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town, Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favour of God was upon him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you Christ. O Christ. Morning, everyone. Morning. Anne. It's great to be here as we celebrate Candle Mass, looking back on the forty days of Christmas, and forward to Lent and Passion Tide, when Jesus was betrayed and killed. Long before Christianity, people celebrated a festival of light at this time, right in the middle of the season of long dark winter nights. For Christians. The light of Candlemas reaches back to the joy of Jesus' birth and forward to his suffering at Easter, a bitter, sweet festival that is important as it reminds us that Jesus lived through the full range of human experience, from great joy to terrible pain. The reading from the letter to the Hebrews puts it like this. He did not come to help angels, but human beings, his brothers and sisters in every respect. And because he experienced suffering, he is able to help us when we suffer. The Gospel reading is the story of two parents bringing their child to God and to be purified themselves, according to the custom. Simeon, the elderly priest, and Anna, the ancient prophet, both instantly recognised Jesus as the world-changing and long-expected saviour, who will bring not just joy but sorrow and be rejected by many. Mary and Joseph are recognised and blessed as parents of this child. There's probably never been a better time than now to remember the importance of being present at family and social events. We've had almost a year of being denied the full participation in the rituals of baptisms, weddings and funerals. Landmark birthdays and anniversaries have been private affairs. I reckon this will surely give us a greater appreciation of our relationships and our rituals. When we emerge into the freedom of a world where we can embrace and hold one another and celebrate our delight in being free of restrictions, how joyful the ordinary things of life will be. Jesus became human to experience life as one of us. He died for us on the cross and he leads us into eternal life. Because he experienced suffering, he is able to help us when we suffer. We can trust that God is with us when we're happy and when we're sad, when life is wonderful and when things feel as if they're falling apart. He has been there too, so we can always turn to him for help in the bitter times and the sweet. Light a Candlemas candle tonight as you bring to mind in prayer all your hopes, all your fears and all your concerns for one another. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Anne. Do take a moment later tonight if you can or on Tuesday, the actual day of candle mass if you prefer to light a candle and just do as Anne suggested. We don't often do this in these services but we're going to affirm our faith with a shorter version of the creed. So let us affirm our faith in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Though he was divine, he did not cling to equality with God, but made himself nothing. Taking the form of a slave, he was born in human likeness. He humbled himself and was obedient to death, even the death of the cross. 
Therefore God has raised him on high and given him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow and every voice proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. I'm going to swap with Anthea again, who's going to lead us in our prayers, and I'm going to sing a, a short refrain in between each prayer. The refrain is in Greek, it's a traditional refrain, it's Kyrie eleison, which means Lord have mercy, just very short in between each one. So let's pray. <clears throat> Gracious God, on this day when we think especially of light, we pray first of all for those parts of your world where people feel that they are living in darkness. Kyrie, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie, Kyrie eleison. We pray for every country affected by the Covid crisis, and especially we pray for our own uh, health service, that uh, the people working in it would have strength and comfort. Kyrie, Kyrie eleison. Kyrie, Kyrie eleison. We pray for world leaders, for our own government and our own Prime Minister. And we pray that the decisions which they take would be made in the light and not in the dark. Kyrie, Kyrie eleison. Kyrie, Kyrie eleison. We pray, we pray for people who are struggling at this time, for those whose life circumstances are difficult, those who are out of work, those who are anxious, about what is to come. Kyrie, Kyrie eleison. Kyrie, Kyrie eleison. We pray for those people that we have in our hearts and minds, the people that we are concerned about, those who are ill at this time. Kyrie. And we remember too those who have died and gone before us and we pray for all those who are facing a bereavement at this time, those who are making funeral arrangements and those who have a difficult anniversary. Kyrie, Kyrie eleison. Kyrie, Kyrie eleison. Lord have mercy. Amen. Amen. Our dog's having a lovely time joining in with all the singing today in our services. If you hear a sort of groaning, it's not Anthea, it's the dog <laughs> grumbling at uh, what's happening. He likes to be included. We're going to share peace with each other now. We always do this in our services. You can type peace in the comments if you want to, or you can press the little heart button to show peace to one another. And we pray for God's peace for each of us. Our Saviour Christ is the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace, there shall be no end. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let's offer each other a sign of God's peace. I'm going to press some little heart pictures. Probably hearts. Sorry if there are other pictures. Mostly hearts. Peace be with all of you. <laughs> Taffy's um, praying for peace for Anthea by licking her, which is which is delightful while she's trying to control all the computers. Peace be with all of you and all those you love near or far. 
Now we are going to start our Eucharistic prayer and I'm going to pop this here so I can see if you wish to, to join in. And I have down here just a very small wafer and a little wine as we celebrate and remember God's sacrifice for us in Jesus. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you've created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh. As your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us. He revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, the broken wine and <laughs> the broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends. Oh. And taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, he gave it to them and said, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine, again he praised you, gave it to them and said, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the saviour of the world. Lord of all life. Help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms and bring us with all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. So as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Book of Common Prayer says if we offer ourselves in penitence and faith, we may truly eat and drink the body and blood of our Saviour Christ, even when we cannot receive the sacrament physically. In making communion spiritually, we're joining with Christians everywhere to be nourished by Jesus, who tells us, I am the bread of life. Body of Christ.
blood of Christ. So let us pray. Lord, you fulfilled the hope of Simeon and Anna, who lived to welcome the Messiah. May we, who've received these gifts beyond words, prepare to meet Christ when he comes to bring us eternal life, for he's alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. We always have a little information to share with you. I'm just going to remind myself. Uh, we have um, St. John's is open today between two and three for private prayer. And um, you're welcome to come and sit, just some peace and quiet, light a candle if you wish. It's very cold at the moment, so do take care. Make sure you've wrapped up warm two till three this afternoon. Um, and then 11 till 12 on Wednesday as well. That's St. John's in Alton. It's not quite as snowy as it looked in that picture there now. Just a bit frosty today. St. Oswald's, also just frosty, not snowy, is open this afternoon um, from 2 till 4. And then the same on Wednesday, 2 till 4. Those times usually stay the same for St. Oswald's, 2 till 4, Sundays and Wednesdays. Occasionally we're not able to open on the Wednesdays due to funerals. We try to let people know if we can, but it's fine this week. Uh, we're carrying on meeting with our online services for the time being, but we will be reviewing things this month, uh, which starts tomorrow. <laughs> uh, and uh, we're carrying on with online church next Sunday, which is at 10.30 on the 7th of February. And we also still have our phone-in service too, which is on Tuesdays at 10 o'clock. All you need is uh, the number to call and a passcode. If you want to join us, please just let me know. It's a nice little service. It takes about maybe 15 minutes morning prayer and a, a chat before and after as well. We can pray for each other too. Uh, just contact us if you want the details for how to join. We are collecting donations for the food banks through both churches. Donations can be brought when the churches are open for prayer or you can contact us if um, we need to arrange a collection somehow which we can sometimes do during the week i think that's all our notices for now um we're working on what we might be able to do for ash wednesday which is i think about the 17th of february so not very far away uh, we don't know yet so we'll hopefully have a little more information for you very soon we'll be able to tell you what we're doing we will do something okay Let's have our final hymn and please don't forget to let us know if you've got a request for a hymn. We've had a few come in. We can't, we can't always do them all straight away because we normally only have a couple of hymns uh, in each of our services. But we do keep them in mind and we try to include them where we can. OK, our final hymn today. This is a request from Thea. Oops, this is one of her favourites. Let's retrieve that. That's very appropriate as it's talking all about light. It's called Christ Be Our Light. It has a chorus, so if you're not familiar with it, I'm sure you'll pick up the chorus quite quickly and can join in with that if you would like to.
to save us, make us your living voice. Christ, be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light, shine in your church, gather today. Longing for shelter. servants to one another, making your kingdom come. Christ be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light, shine in your church, gather today. Hope that you've enjoyed our service for Candle Mass, the end of Epiphany, and that you're all keeping well as much as possible. We will get through this time. We know it's difficult. That's at least we're reaching the end of January and the days are starting to get a little bit lighter. And uh, in both churchyards, there's quite a few snowdrops started to come through now. And the, uh, the signs of the first crocuses, daffodils, some other kind of flower, I have a limited repertoire of flower. Something is coming through which is going to flower later in the spring and it's it's good to see these signs of, of encouragement and signs of spring on the way, isn't it? Now if you have a candle that you've lit during our service, I'm going to get you to put this out with me now. I'm going to attempt to blow this one out uh, in one go as part of our ending and our blessing for today. So we have some words to use. We have greeted the light of the world. Help us who now put out these candles never to forsake the light of Christ. To blow mine out. These words are from the traditional candle mass liturgy. And here we've blessed one another in your name. Help us who now go in peace to shine with your light in the world. And we can say this together. May the grace of our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, the love of God, of God and the fellowship of the Holy Christ, Spirit be with us all evermore. evermore. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you and everyone you love now and always. Amen. Thank you for joining us. It's been really lovely to have you all sharing worship with us this morning. Stay safe and go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.